but a, a very short, straightforward demonstration of how to take some Java program and to place it within the Eclipse IDE. And uh, I'm going to illustrate that by first of all creating, by going to File, a new Java project called, I don't know, Dancer. This is what happens. So Dancer is the project aligned with all the other projects I've got going within this uh, workspace. Uh, and what I want to do now is to create within Dancer a new uh, a new package called um, Dancer Demo. Got to write it like that. Dancer Demo. Finish, and here we are. And within Dancer Demo. I want to create a class. So here we go, new class. New class. I'm going to call the class just demo. And here we go. So here is a, a template, as it were, for class demo. Well, uh, I'm not going to bother with being assisted by the template, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And I'm going to go to a file that I know contains some uh, some Java, and uh, I'm going to get rid of this package creepy because uh, we've just given uh, our pa package another name. So I'm going to select everything in that, select all, copy everything, get rid of the file, place the uh, file I've just copied into the file. So here's the class demo. And the name here corresponds to the name of the class I'm, I've told Eclipse I want to create. Package dance, a demo, yeah, that corresponds to that. Uh, scanner is actually uh, a system library which I'm going to use in this. And the place I'm actually using it is to get uh, data in using what will turn out to be a, a stream system dot in. So what I what I can actually do now, just to just to explain a little bit, is that I'm going to get uh, some input from the keyboard, and then I'm going to calculate um, from a number representing degrees Fahrenheit number which represent degrees centigrade using a very simple formula which I'm sure most of you know. And I'm going to run this. So let me let me run it and demonstrate it. So first of all I have to save something before I run it. And I get this printed up on my console. Type in the uh, temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So let, let's do a nice easy one. 212 and what comes out is the uh, centigrade equivalent of 100 degrees, 100 degrees centigrade. So that's all I really wanted to show you, other than the fact that uh, how do you get to this starting point? How do you get to this starting point? Um, well, I'll close this down and hopefully <laughs> demonstrate uh, how, how I got to this point. Um, or maybe you can just try things out yourself. Um, whilst I'm here, I quite like to run the web server. And uh, let me see. So let me let me go to let me go to web server. 
in source. And it's a very simple web service that lets have a look at the code. And what I'd like to do is to just simply run this web service. So I can run it. Let's actually run it. And it's waiting for a connection on port 80, whatever that <laughs> might mean. And what I'm actually going to do is just to demonstrate the uh, capability of this server, which isn't terrific, is I'm going to run, execute a web server. And I'm going to run a browser rather, and I'm going to write uh, one, two, I'm going to write, let's try again, one, two, seven, zero, whoops, that was a zero, 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 let me try again, zero, zero, one, colon, which uh, is a reserved syntax for showing an intended port number. And I'm going to just click on return. <laughs> random, fairly random message appears. Hello, September starters. You've just woken this tired server up. I'm currently transmitting from dfd.dn.fi. Well, it's just a little demonstration of how a browser can communicate with a random web server. And the purpose of this web server is simply it, it prints out a very simple message. And I could make it as complicated and as pretty as I want to. So I'm going to close that down. And uh, I'll probably give you this web server. And it actually uh, gives you a bit of detail as to what the server is actually doing. Um, if you have a look, at, if you bother to look at all the various uh, uh, outputs. Okay, so... Um, thank you very much for your attention. Um, uh, this, what I've shown you could be quite important in the sense that uh, rather than develop all your programs in Eclipse line by line, you could actually uh, copy a, a completed file or a half complete file into Eclipse and make any edit, edits or modifications that you want to in that place. But anyway, I'm going to close this down now. Because I've actually got uh, two or three other um, little pieces to show you, including some Java, which I expect you to uh, cut and paste and put them into Eclipse. Okay, so...